Okay, what I have set up here are three inset maps showing details um, of study sites. Here we've got an overall view of where those study sites are relative to each other, and then here we've got the state of Maine. And what I'd like to do is indicate this extent on this map so we can see what part of the coastline it is. And that's called an extent indicator. You need to activate it on the map frame that you want the indicator rectangle to appear. And so this one is selected by left clicking on it and under the insert tab is the extent indicator. So I want to indicate the extent of a different data frame or map frame and it's this one here. If I don't remember what this one's called, I can click on it and it shows me in the contents pane that it's map frame three. So I can go back over here to the extent indicator and indicate map frame three and notice that it's provided a rectangle. If I were to pan, Hello. Activate that guy first. Oh, stop. Okay. We're going to activate this guy so that I can pan across. Watch what happens to the extent indicator rectangle. It's moving down the coast. So it's a, a dynamic function that changes based on this extent. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my layout and in map frame three, I'm going to go back and zoom to these guys. Okay, and it pops my indicator back where it should be. If I want to change the look of my frame, I go to the extent indicator properties by double clicking on it. And you don't, um, you can use a leader if you want, that's the line that points to it. But I want to change the symbol and maybe make it, um, I kind of like black here, but I might want it to just be a little bit heavier so it's more prevalent. There are other tricks you can use. You could use a subtle color to outline this map frame and then use that same color here to intuitively connect them. Um, but I'm going to keep this graphically pretty simple. Okay, that's it.